Hello, golf friends. What is the proper setup in the golf swing? We're going to talk about that today on Tour Swing Tuesday. Hi, this is Gary Bates from the Gary Bates Golf Academy. I'm a PGA teaching professional and certified V1 video analysis coach. Up here we have Keegan Bradley. Played really well this past week just for a couple shots here and there, a couple putts, and really he had a good chance to win. And uh, I love to see him do that sooner than later. So let's take a look at this motion. And um, I want to talk about the proper setup. So a lot of people ask me that when I'm teaching, like, how should I set up? And, I, and I'll say this. I think the proper setup is one that gets you into proper impact. So this is a little different right here, right? Very low hands. Um, maybe like back in the day, I remember Fuzzy Zeller and Lanny Watkins, hands very low like this, right? So he's got a lot of bend from the waist, hands low. Now, I redrew that uh, shaft line plane because uh, it should generally go through your belt buckle. And also his head and the, the line on the back there to look for thrust. So let's take him into motion right here. And what a good ball striker he is. Very, very fine ball striker. Let's take a look here. So he's going to take this club back very much you know, sort of along that shaft line plane, slightly inside. And so he has the forearm sort of rotate a little bit. So he gets that toe up position. So maybe a little more open than some, but I've, I've mentioned this many times is you have some variation here. Heck, you could work a long time on your backswing and never get the downswing right. He happens to get a little bit open right here. So that's fine, right? Getting as he goes back, hinging his wrist right along that shaft line plane, right? So a little bit more around, but then you're going to see him get the club up a little bit more, not really a lift, but he's going to get in this sort of two plane position, right? Where the club, uh, you know, really points down the target line, but his left arms, you know, maybe a little above his shoulder plane, right? And a slight cupped left wrist, which then will make his club face appear open. That's no problem. Okay. We're fine with that. Um, maintain the flex in his right knee. So, you know, just a very nice motion here, unique to him, but very effective, right? So getting to the top right here, then dropping it down, right? Getting the club to flatten, right? On its original shaft line plane. Um, and he gets right there, right? Right down Main Street, as I say. And how do you know he's kind of in that draw position, club inside the hands? And his shoulders will appear a little more shut here in this position and not as much hip rotation. So if you watch the tournament this past week, hit a couple, you know, quite a few draws, unfortunately on that par three left it out there. Um, but you know, just, you know, playing good golf again and terrific to see. So from the inside, right club face, close the path. That's your draw bias. You'll see a little gap between his left arm and the elbow, right? That's kind of draw a positioning right here. So very nice. And that's what I like about, Keegan and many tour players is they have a shot they go to. His is right to left. I don't necessarily care <laughs> what you do. I don't mean to say it in a bad way. I do care. Uh, but I want to see you develop a ball flight. Left to right, right to left, eliminate one side. That's key in golf. Okay, through. Toe up again, right? So that toe up, toe up position. That's cool. And you'll see a little more face rotation over here, typical of a draw player. So that's Keegan Bradley up on his right toe. I wish him the very best. I remember playing his uh, dad's course many years ago in Vermont in Woodstock um, when I was teaching for, at the Stratton Golf Academy there in Stratton. Uh, beautiful country under uh, Keith Lyford, one of the fine teachers I've worked with. So anyhow, that's Ke um, Keegan Bradley. Let me just say this too, and I think this can help you. You know, he had a little trouble coming down the stretch. And, you know, this is very normal, even for a seasoned tour player. He hasn't maybe been in the mix as much. You'll be in that position as well. I will too. There'll be pressure of different magnitudes as you play, right? And so I love this quote from Boyd Summerhays I, I read. And he said, the more you seek the uncomfortable, the more comfortable you, you, be, you become. And so get those situations where you're under pressure, whether it's practice, whether it's playing with your buddies, you'll get used to it. You'll pull it better, play better. You'll get in position and you'll, you'll finish the mission. Okay. Thank you for tuning in. I, if you're on Facebook, you can see all our information right there. Gary Bates Golf Academy on YouTube. Hey, love for you to subscribe, join our community. I love your comments. L you know, love when you give us a thumbs up, I appreciate your support so much. If we can ever help you, Hey, Feel free to stop by the Jersey Devil Golf Center right there in Winslow, New Jersey. Hey, beautiful blueberries surround us. Okay, thank you for being with us. God bless you. See you next time on Tour Swing Tuesday. Bye for now.